hello everyone welcome back to my channel you guys are back here with kayla all for who do not know me if it's your first time welcome welcome and welcome to my channel i'm praying that you guys decide to stay and stick around for more videos i am kayla ismani <laughs> just to say it in a little francais accent okay no i'm haitian so anyway so from what i believe is mani is more like a haitian name welcome to my channel today we're going to be doing a evening with me every evening looks completely different when you work full time it can change here and there first of all this isn't really like a full glimpse i think i will have to do a realistic evening with me next time it is like more of a home day evening with me i think i might incorporate that in the title because I do get one day a week to work from home, so it makes it that much more convenient to just close the computer when you're done, clock out, and then progress. I'm not exactly then incorporating commuting time and grabbing dinner, coming home, and I'm not even sure what time consistently I get home, but normally on a regular day I get home before or on 6 p.m. Um, if I have any train delays or changing my um, what my route, if I leave work later, if I'm hanging out, I could be coming home after 7 p.m., 8 p.m. If it's a Friday, maybe even later, or I stick around at my family friends. I have a family friend in Brooklyn, um, and. It's really nice sometimes just staying over, hanging out for a Friday night, for dinner, for just gals night. With all those things combined, like it can look different. But for the most of the time, when I end work, um, mostly for my commutes home, I spend that time in the Word, whatever. So that's why I'm like, let me do a um, realistic evening routine next or evening with me next. Um, I think that'll be pretty fun to look at and even document for this life season right now. But for today, it's a home day. I'm in my little evening routine. I need to get two loads of laundry done by the end of the night. Um, I'm doing my bedding. Um, it's been a few weeks, so I'm trying to get back in the habit of doing it every two weeks, you know, whatever. I mean, I'm single, so it's just me. So I sometimes then lean over to three weeks, sometimes a month. But, um, you know, I, I want to get better at like more, like doing it more frequently. <laughs> yeah. Also, like back here, I have a small pile of laundry. I can't tell if you guys can tell because my glasses are not on. I can't even see. <laughs> but um, I want to get that out the way because today is a Monday, by the way. So... I have a busy week this week, so I feel like if I get all my laundry done, that'll minimize my weekend task. We have family coming in town. I have my friend's wedding this weekend. Like, there's like a lot to do this week, work-wise, personal life-wise, things I want to get done. So I'm like, let me get all these chores done and completed. So let's head into my evening.
before. That's a backsplash. Oh, that's a backsplash? Uh-huh. Wait, but let's look at those floors. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we should still go dark with the floor. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Tony, what about yeah, that? Yeah, like, I agree. This well, that doesn't have a backsplash, but we can just pick one. Oh, you want some black? Dark brown floor. And then the backsplash, they don't have one. You can. Yeah. And it is cold. Oh, yes. <laughs> sister and I end up running an errand to Home Depot. If you guys know what that means, you know what that means, okay? It's so funny because May weather is always so beautiful. I'm literally wearing a tank top and it's May, what's today's date? May 15th. This actually is mid-month. What a blessing. So, um, we are going to be having a little home project brewing. That will be an entirely separate video. Um, we're gonna have a home project, home improvement project. It's kind of a necessity, rooting from a plumbing issue in our house. And we have a lot going on kind of, but there's a plumbing issue in one of our bathrooms. So thankfully, thankfully it should have arrived. Okay, we have other um, bathrooms to utilize other full baths so we are out of commission of a bathroom entirely there is um, other options but our bathroom um, up here on our end of the house um, is at a commission well the shower is we can still utilize the toilet or the sink thankfully for that but um yeah, so we have a project brewing, so all details of a revamp is coming. And I think I'm going to do a separate video for that to throw in some progress clips and whatever while I can. Um, but a lot is going on this week. A lot is happening, but I am blessed. I am thankful and I am prayerful about it. There will be more details will come, but as for now, that is that. But um, I will show you a little update in my room. And I can't believe it's like nine something because time is literally flying. Um, and I have work in the morning and I, I just thought about it. I'm here relaxing because sometimes I got, I got used to the weekend. And especially this week, I worked from home on a Monday. So it feels like it's like, I don't know, I got used to the whole weekend momentum. So tomorrow will be my corporate Monday. But um. I'm like looking, I'm like, oh, it was nine something. I was, like, I was like, oh, I have work tomorrow. I was not able to finish my laundry pile over here. It's looking pretty. So that'll be a Wednesday endeavor, I think, because tomorrow I have things going on after work, going to a little architecture networking event. So um, with that, I will do my colors then, but I did wash my whites in my bedding they're currently drying so before i sleep hopefully i can able be able to like dress the bed i i'm gonna do an organized organization video with me um that i'm thinking to do and in that video i need to switch out my seasonal wear i think it's very much coming to the time where my sweater is going to go up my summer needs to come down clothes change but um I feel like I had some tea earlier and I feel like I'm a little bit better. But the thing is that this year, allergy season especially is through the roof. It's 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 wild. I never I feel like it's, it must be pollen. But out of all my 22 years of living, I never had any allergy reaction or I was never sensitive to allergies or like pollen or anything like that. This year, around, I guess once April hit, it was my eyes, it was watery, it was itchy. Like I'm at work, I cannot even see my computer screen because my eyes were so glossed over. Then it was like my nose, then like my throat. I felt something in my throat first and I was like, what's going on? I know I'm not catching a cold, I know I'm not sick or anything. 
it was like all allergy symptoms then a week or two i had like relief from it and then um this week like it was like last night into today and i know my room the air could be very dry because my room is the hottest in the house in the summer and spring and the coldest in the house in fall and winter so i was like okay maybe because this the weather's changing whatever like and it's hot in here, maybe that's why my nose and my throat is funny. But all day today, I knew it was pollen. Like, my throat feels like, it feels dry or, like, itchy a little bit. And, like, I, I got a cough. I'm, like, sneezing. It's just, like, the pollen is in the air. But I might make me another cup of tea, before, like, to sip on through the night because, um, like... That way, like, my throat can, like, have some warm fluids and drinks. And also, my stomach is, like, bloated. And I'm feeling a little bit gassy. So it's that kind of night. I have my window open a little bit. Because, see, you guys, you know. forgot to show you guys the update to my room that I was gonna show you if you guys saw earlier in the vlog you might have seen but I got a new mirror got a new full body mirror which I love it's first of all wider and taller so this is a 65 inch by by 22 inch and I'm liking it so far love it and I love that I added my basil plant here here's a plant that I was growing since august of last year when i started my job in new york city there was um a vendor outside of my job which sold some plants so i, I got a basil plant and it's, it's thriving and it grew with me almost a year now and um i love it look at it it's like thriving it thrives indirect and direct sunlight um Oh yeah, now that I touched it, I smell it. Like, so with basil plants, when you like rub the leaf, you can like, you can definitely, ooh, it smells very spicy or strong. You can smell it on your fingertips. But it smells good though, so it's, it's like a good scent. But I love that I added it here now. I took it out of my office at work because in my cube, it was growing tall, which wasn't a problem. I would love to have more greenery in my cube and more plants, so I just might do that. But, um, yeah, I brought it home because it had to be repotted. It was in a smaller pot um, that I had previously, so I put it in this medium size. And I love it, too, because you see how it has the ridges and things. My old plant that I couldn't keep alive, I think in 2021, I was going through it, so my plants were going through it. <laughs> that was, like, fall, like, all my senior year of college, I, I was kind of going through it behind the scenes. So I know every plant that I had was not surviving. But Father is good. Like, I even have a clip, like a behind-the-scenes clip that I filmed, like, the grief or loss of my plant. So I'm feeling good. Things are becoming swell. I come down, my snake plant, the dirt is dry. I'm not surprised though because I did not water this one at all either. My peperomia. <sighs> this plant has gone through it. I've got this plant in August. Um, it's now December and it got incredibly thinned out. I'm about to nurture her. And so according to plant this, they said wilting could be caused from a assortment of reasons. 
Yeah, basically low watering or too much and I think it was low because I left it. So, yeah, my Creeping Charlie looked like this in the beginning. I hope it's focused. Look how healthy, thriving, and large. And here's what has happened. Ah, so now I need a mouse of prayer. Oh, Father God, just please bring my plant restoration. Please help it to grow and thrive after it being marinated, marinated and nurtured and filled with water. Father, I just pray that the plant food is the proper thing to revive my plant and bring it restoration in life. Father. And as well as my plan for all those who are suffering, Father, right now, um, either with mental health, physical health, emotional, or have a lot going on, Father, I just pray that them too are healed and they um, are brought restoration and um, are relieved of pains and suffering, Father, for all for your glory. And um, we just thank you for recognition and for um, the resources in order to help plants and our loved ones all continue to um, be brought back to great health, Father. Um, yeah. Father, we know that plants and all living things do have an end date, Father, if it is your will for my Creeping Charlie to have his end date, I abide in it. But Father, I just pray that you help me to bring this plant restoration. In your name, I pray these things. Amen. Alrighty, so always start in prayer. <laughs> now we're going to bring this plant some life. <coughs> For now on going forward, I will do better and I have the faith that all things can be possible. It's just that I need to make a list of like the care for each plant because they all need different things. But I'm like, I had to understand it. I'm like, you know what? Even in our life, life and death are purposeful endeavors and you pray through it. We go through it and we grow stronger and I got a new plan and um it's nice <laughs> but um yeah this basil is doing a-okay and I water it every two and a half ish weeks sometimes even three weeks but um I will water it soon because I think it's been two weeks I think Wednesday I'll water it today's Monday I'll give it a few more days because because I let it dry out a little bit and I water it and I don't know that plant is very low maintenance and I love it so I cannot wait to just have more greenery in my space. I'm hoping like um, this summer, it's May already, I'm hoping June, like that vendor comes back outside of my job or somewhere downtown Manhattan that they return. That way I can get more because they're really affordable. It was like $10 and under. Being wise about it, of course, about these expenses, but I'm like, I'm seeing a lot of sales right now and it's exciting because... I can budget for it, pray about it, sleep on it, give it some time, see if I need it. So that was a success. Now there's nothing like a hot, fresh load of lingerie. 
Now I'm here thinking that I would be sleeping on a bare mattress tonight when that was not the case, which I'm thankful. Um, I got some productive things done today. I, I got my whites cleaned. I had my white sneakers that I had to desperately wash for a while, which I finally got to wash them today. I had them air drying outside. Thankfully, it was a sunny day today. Things are just working. I'm so glad for Father's timing because these sneakers were sitting over here for like a couple weeks because I was like, you know what? It's not the right time. It's been raining. So I was able to wash, air dry them perfectly. And then before my evening errands, I was able to throw my clothes in the wash, come back, dry them for 30 minutes, um, or I think 40 minutes, and um, here I am. So I'm confident that one day I can then wash my colors. And um, that's perfect anyway, because I'm off on Thursday. I'll be able to have washed most of my clothes from the week, kind of. success and that my bed is made because I don't like when like tasks are lingering around you know what I mean I try to be proactive with things and get things done and I like to complete tasks I love when my room is organized and the space is clean I can think I can be I can properly rest especially now knowing that this bed is made and that's one less task. Because on a non work from home day, um, I know you guys experience it. If you guys are working or even in school, whether you're like elementary, middle, high school, college years, um, undergrad or masters, if you have any other occupation or um, responsibility to attend to, you guys know the weeks can go by like this and days and nights can go by so if there's a task like oh folding your laundry from sunday nine times out of ten by the time you get home and progress with the week it's likely if it's out of sight out of mind or if you just procrastinate it that same pile can still be there from tuesday from monday to tuesday to wednesday maybe you'll get to it on thursday Maybe Friday, like, we, we, we want to try to stay on top of our things in small increments. That way it won't become a ginormous load. You know, take 10 minutes to make your bed up if your laundry is clean. Take five minutes to fold those clean towels before you proceed with the next task. Um, your laundry, same application. Don't just, like, throw it somewhere. I mean, if you're utterly exhausted... I completely understand but don't try to like create these small pot piles piles everywhere try to have a discipline in all that you do but yes I'm glad one day is um, checked off the calendar for the week because I have my calendar going and I always cross days off and like always think about my task um, so I'm so thankful and so blessed for this day I'm so so blessed to end it on a grateful note and a peaceful note but I am praying for you all I'll be ending this video here and I love you and I'm so thankful for every one of you who join my channel who subscribe who engage and I'm so thankful for all of my fellow believers here um, and I'm, I'm praying that you all have, have a desire to strengthen your faith, to grow your faith walk, um, 
to just trust and depend on the most high more and more um, in all your days and I shall see you guys at my next video let's get some lights off in here and cozy night if you're watching this at night <laughs> but have a great um, day if you're watching this during the day and enjoy the new morning mercies of our father because his mercies are new every morning joy comes in the morning weeping only lasts for a night so whatever that you're holding let it go um whatever you you need to turn from i pray that you walk into repentance and that we are never too far gone okay um we have a father who wants us to serve him who is our greatest friend, who is our safe place. He is our strong tower. And we find safety and security and peace and joy in chaos. I don't know, time is so short <laughs> and we have to be wise in our decisions and our days. Um, and as these days can seem darker, there's still peace and still joy in Yeshua because we um, have the opportunity to turn to him and just receive his peace and refinement and change and just um, have the opportunity to follow him and just give it all to him. So I just pray that we all continue to be a light <laughs> too ourselves even to others in every place that we go to the grocery store our workplace and our families and our friends um, and just draw more and more people towards those high because that's the best decision we can make <laughs> the best decision Thank you.